everyone, it's TV Talk with Tina from the new PrimeParentsClub.com. In case you haven't heard, we're no longer the 40MomsClub.com, we're PrimeParentsClub.com. So it kind of opens the doors to a little bit of everything for everyone. I'm here to give you your weekly rundown on my favorite reality shows and pop culture moments. So let's get started. I hate to keep talking about The Apprentice, but I kind of need to this week because Gary Busey was on. And not only was he an embarrassment to the show, but the part that floored me was the fact that he referred to his male unit as the Big Wednesday. I don't know if any of you caught that, but it was pretty disgusting. So, needless to say, the boys team won again, and Dion Warwick was sent home packing, so she's not going to be our hot mess of the week anymore, keeping our fingers crossed. But let's talk about Housewives. This week, the Housewives of Miami had its season finale. And Marisol hosted the latest cooking party where her and her husband, Philippe, cooked something that they referred to as salmon in the bag. Apparently, Philippe sells this salmon in the bag. So to me, it looks more like Philippe was trying to sell his stuff to the TV audience than actually cook a really good dinner for everyone. The shocker on this finale was the fact that Cynthia apparently had an extramarital affair when she was married, but if you watch the show, I don't think that was too much of a shocker. Not a big shocker at all. But as with Orange County Housewives, it was kind of the same old, same old. Getting kind of bored with the fact that Vicky and Tamara went out of town to Mexico, got drunk, did body shots. Gretchen just ranted and raved about how much she was in love with Slade, but yet she still doesn't want to marry him because she wants to get a lease instead of getting married. I don't know what's going to happen there, but I did hear that they are auditioning right now for the Housewives of Toronto. So any Toronto, Canada people, can get in line and possibly you can be on our next Housewives show. But this week we will, on Tuesday, have the season finale reunion of the Housewives of Miami, and it's going to be live. I don't think they've ever done a reunion show live, so you might want to tune in and watch. One thing we haven't talked about at all is American Idol. Last week on American Idol, Casey Abrams was sent home, but the judges decided to save him. Their only save of the year. So this week, two people went home. It was Naima and Sia. I kind of agree with that choice. I don't know if I agree with keeping Casey, but everybody's got their own opinion. My fear was the fact that Paul was in the bottom three. Paul is my absolute favorite. If you watch our blog, you know that I am Team Paul. On Dancing with the Stars, Mike Catherwood was the first to go. And I think the biggest disappointment about this was the fact that Lacey Schwimmer was his partner. And everyone hates to see Lacey go home. She is a great partner, and I, I'm, I was sad to see her go. She's one of my favorites. Now let's ta talk about pop culture. Last week on PrimeParentsClub.com, we took a poll to see who your hot mess of the week was. And in the running for the winner was Chris Brown and his GMA rant. Last week, Chris Brown, who is very well known for his physical abuse attack on the singer Rihanna, went to Robin Roberts on Good Morning America to have just a plain interview. But it seems as though she asked a couple personal questions about the Rihanna incident, and he freaked out backstage. He went backstage, he knocked out a window, had glass falling in New York and on the streets of, I think it was 43rd Street. He went crazy in the room, he ripped apart the room, he just trashed the dressing room. But to top it off, he tore off his shirt and went walking down the streets of New York, being photographed by the paparazzi. I'm just going to say it, Chris Brown, you're kind of weird, really kind of weird. I kind of put you in the same category as Philip on Survivor that wears the pink baggy underwear. I'm just kidding. He has nothing to do with Philip on Survivor, but I had to add Philip in there somewhere because he's still on the show. He hasn't been voted out. Chris, it's apparent that you have anger issues, so you just need to chill out of it. Just chill. Anyways, that's all I have for you this week. Please let me know how you feel about this week's rundown. And please check out PrimeParentsClub.com 
for your favorite writers and the topics and the stories that they have to, to share with you. And uh, you'll see some good articles, and we'll chat next week. Thank you for tuning in.